Labour MP Lloyd Russell Moyle, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Nice to speak to you again. Thank you. So let's start with the Turkey's war on the Kurds. What is the significance of the Turkey's war on the Kurds in Iraq and how have have they been able to wage it? Well, we, we, we know that uh, Turkey has continued to have a, um, for almost 100 years now, a Turkification process where they believe that only people um, in Turkey should be ethnic Turks. We know, of course, of the Armenian genocide and of similar repressions of the Kurds. But at the same time, they've taken an approach um, that they don't believe uh, that Kurds should be able to seek autonomy elsewhere either. And the reason they've come to that conclusion is that they believe it will inspire um, uh, Kurds in their country to seek some level of autonomy or self um, self determination, um, and that for them uh, would be detrimental to the um, the continued kind of purity of Turkey uh, in their terms, not 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 my terms. Uh, and so there has been an ongoing. Um, uh, kind of almost a schizophrenic role of Turkey with um, Kurds in Iraq. In one sense, they have wanted to make sure that they are um, uh, not independent or separate. Um, uh, and they have um, particularly not wanted them to show any inspiration to the Kurds in, their, uh, in Turkey. Uh, but on the other side, they've ended up in quite a complicated economic relationship because of oil um, with some of the ruling parties of um, uh, of the Kurdish autonomous region in Iraq. And so those two things uh, provide a contradiction, um, but hopefully help us understand uh, why there is conflict as well as cooperation. Uh, Boris Johnson and uh, Turkish Prime Minister, uh, Turkish Minister Erdogan uh, has uh, make a phone uh, conversation and they agreed on to uh, to Britain to uh, give more help, to give more support to Turkey to stop uh, Afghan uh, refugees, basically. And today we can see on the headlines that uh, Britain Defence uh, Minister Val Valassi uh, is uh, giving speeches and saying we must support Turkey and Pakistan. Uh, also, the European Union has a, a huge uh, amount of resource for uh, Turkey about the refugee crisis. Um, what would you like to comment on this? How would you com how would you comment on that? Do you think Europe is afraid from uh, refugees and they using? The Turkey as a kind of a fence to stop refugees and uh, also Erdogan is benefiting from this situation. How would you comment on that? Well, I think that that's uh, pretty um, uh, clear that Europe has a complicated relationship with Turkey. Um, it would naturally want to be critical of some of the humanitarian uh, abuses that the current government in Turkey um, is uh, um, uh, doing, particularly with the Kurds. Um, but at the same time, um, Europe has become very allergic to uh, supporting refugees, and Turkey has taken large numbers of them, not just from uh, the Syrian crisis, but from other crises as well. And Europe would prefer to pay large amounts of money for them to stay in Turkey. Now, that, in my view, is not actually particularly fair for Turkey, or the Turkish people, uh, and it's not really right for Europe to be uh, to be doing that uh, entirely. And Europe should be having a, a fair burden of, um, uh, of, of of refugees, particularly if we're talking about the Afghan crisis. I'm afraid that's probably not the political place that we're in at the moment, and it's likely that um, Europe will still um, wish for Turkey to be effectively a staging post or a holding pen um, and will pay Turkey handsomely to do so. This is unfortunately geopolitics rather than anything about what is moral or right for those refugees, for the people who live in Turkey or even for um, for our, our values, but, but that's where we are.
Um, secondly, uh, why is the KDP trying to provoke uh, confrontations with the PKK? Um, because that's also creating another refugee crisis as well as another conflict in the area. How would you comment on that? Well, as I said, uh, Turkey um, has developed economic relations with a number of the ruling uh, parties in um, uh, uh, the Kurdish region in Iraq. And uh, that has meant that uh, for that cooperation, uh, they have required a more um, aggressive stance against the PKK, who they see um, uh, as terrorists, although the European courts and the Belgian courts have said that that's not the case. Um, and so, of course, what we see is the KDP um, uh, and and others actually um, starting to build a level of hostility to um, to some of the support of PKK ideas. And the problem here is is it's not just about PKK methods, which in the past were violent, but it's also about the ideas of self autonomy, which is a great shame because actually that is what um, most of the population in the uh, region in Iraq, South Kurdistan, wanted as much as uh, everywhere else. What responsibilities does the European Union and Britain have for uh, for Abdullah Öcal and the Kurdish leaders' uh, ongoing imprisonment and what should be done about it? Well, the, the role, of course, is a European Union role, but also a Council of Europe role. Um, uh, Öcalan has been locked up, detained, in an island um, and despite him trying to push forward for a peace process, despite him trying to disarm um, some of the activities of the PKK, find political routes, um, they have still considered him um, a, a terrorist and they have not given him access to his lawyers and others. Now, these are infringements under um, the Council of Europe, of which Turkey is a member, and Turkey should be held to account better under the Council of Europe frameworks, which are weak at the moment. And the European Union has a role also in enforcing uh, those frameworks. Britain is a member of the Council of Europe, so we should be pursuing it uh, in that direction. Um, but if we are serious for peace, and Britain has had a role in peace negotiations, not just in Northern Ireland, but we, um, in the end, after a long civil society campaign, had a role in um, supporting peace in South Africa um, uh, and had a role in uh, supporting um, peace in Colombia more recently where terrorists, um, the FARC, uh, turned political. Now, if we want to support Turkey into peace, we need to um, ensure that there is a political way for people to engage um, with uh, with um, these issues and uh, Erdogan is very keen uh, on that. How important was the 15th August 1984 launch of the uh, guerrilla struggle in Kurdistan? How would you uh, comment on that? And uh, it says uh, celebrated his anniversary uh, a week ago. So uh, I would like to ask you how important was the guerrilla struggle in Kurdistan? Look, I personally support a political uh, way um, for people to reach their aims rather than through guerrilla struggles or through um, uh, violence. I understand other people take a different view sometimes, but I do not think that we should be celebrating these things, although we can, of course, mark different moments in our history. What's important, in my view, is not to think about um, the launch of guerrilla struggles, but to think about how we are now at a stage where we should be seeking a political process um, to enable uh, Kurdish people to have autonomy within uh, uh, Turkey and to have equal rights, which they are currently denied. Dear Russell Moyle, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your valuable comments today. My pleasure, as always. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.